Hi, today as you see I have many questions for you, but all of them going to be very easy, so I recommend you to stop video here, read all the questions, try to solve all these questions, and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answers and explanations. And uh, I also recommend you to uh, watch this video in the full screen mode. So let's start with the first uh, uh, question and here is a problem. In guinea pigs the allele for short hair is dominant and what is the genotype would be a heterozygous short hairy guinea pig have. So let's start with uh, writing down all the possible genotypes. This is simple Mendelian genetics. So the first genotype possible would be capital A, capital A. This is going to be homozygous um, dominant. Another one capital A and small a. And the last one homozygous recessive, small a, small a. And uh, these two genotypes would mean short hair and this one would mean long hair. So, uh, once again, what genotype would uh, a heterozygous short haired guinea pig have? And uh, of course heterozygous means that this is going to be when one allele is capital, another one is recessive. So genotype would be capital A, small a. Another question is what genotype would be pure breeding short haired guinea pig have? And uh, once again, as you see, uh, pure breeding means that both alleles would be of the same kind and this is going to be uh, capital A, capital A so we put homozygous dominant here as pure breeding for a uh, short trait. So uh, next question what genotype would uh, a long haired guinea pig have? And this is only one genotype possible that is small a, small a, so we put this genotype here. Next question. Show the cross for a pure breeding short haired guinea pig and long haired guinea pig. What percentage of the offspring will have short hair? And this is very easy. So we have a parent one that is going to be pure breeding short haired. So uh, pure breeding short hair would be capital A, capital A, so homozygous dominant. And we uh, have to cross with another parent, parent 2, that is also going to be um, long haired guinea pig. And uh, as you see, we only have one genotype that is small a, small a. So this is also pure breeding, so small a, small a, and such a cross would produce only one kind of genotype that is going to be heterozygous. And as you see, heterozygous genotype is uh, short, so we can answer this question that 100% would be short haired. Uh, next question. Show the cross uh, for two heterozygous guinea pigs. What percentage of the offspring will have short hair? So once again we have parent 1 on top and parent 2 here on the side. And we told that both of them uh, should be heterozygous, so this genotype, so we would have uh, capital A, small a on top and capital A and small a here. And when we build a Punnett square, we can find the frequencies of different uh, genotypes possible from such a cross. 
So here we would have capital A, capital A, capital A, small a, capital A, small a, and small a, small a. And as you see, we have 75% uh, uh, of such a cross would be uh, short herit progeny, so 75% percent and 25 uh, percent would be long heard so this would be an the answer for the next question what percentage of the offspring will have long hair so 25 percent and I hope you were able to solve all these uh, problems correctly and um, this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.